okay, so, um, I might have done something silly. I, uh, <laughs> so, okay, my November video, the poll for that has already gone out by the time I'm filming this, and it looks like they want me to do a video on uh, Twilight clones and how those worked. Because, you know, around 2008 up to, like, eh, 2012, 2013, was just a huge influx of a bunch of young adult romance stuff that was all trying to ape on Twilight, you know, all trying to catch that exact same audience, that exact same market niche, whatever you want to call it. And there were, there were just so many of them. You know, I've talked about it a little bit on this channel before. And um, just even before the video won the poll, though, I am endlessly fascinated by those things. You know, there are tons of those that just follow vampires, and there's tons that follow werewolves, and there's tons that follow, you know, fairies and wizards and immortals, which are kind of wizards anyways, but, you know, and, but they always follow the same formula, or slight variations of the formula. It's a uh, no, normal teenage girl, runs into some sort of supernatural bad boy, and then they fall in love. And the thing is, I find these, even when they're bad, I find them endlessly fascinating because, one, they're often a lot of fun to laugh at, and two, they're just... It, it, analyzing them is fascinating to me. I, I love looking into it, trying to find out exactly how the formula is followed, in what ways it deviates, and how it works, how it doesn't work. And it's also just kind of fun for me to see, okay, was the person writing this, did they have some actual passion behind it? Was there a story that they felt needed to be told? Or were they just doing it for a paycheck? And anyways, uh, out of all the creatures that they've done, like I mentioned, there were a bunch of them, the biggest was clearly vampires, for obvious reasons, I think. But the second biggest, you might think are werewolves, but no, from what I've seen, the second biggest is angels. And that's why I have this giant pile of angel young adult romance books right here. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yes, yeah, oh, please don't fall. There we go. Or, actually, I should clarify. This one is Obsidian, and this one's actually about aliens. I bought this one because it looked so stupid that I just... You know, even though it's a different kind of stupid, or maybe not, but it's slightly different kind of stupid, I still had to check that out. But, like, these are all angel stuff and there are uh four entire series and then i have the first blue bloods book which is vampires and angels actually and as a bonus i still have um my copy of fallen here which the whole series you can see all the notes i made throughout it and ugh, sorry and uh throughout all of these like i'm saying they're just really interesting to me because they're fun to laugh at, they're fun to poke fun at, but occasionally I will find something in one of them that's good. Like, for many years, I've been searching for the elusive Twilight clone that I actually enjoy. Like, just unironically. I'm not saying it's perfect, but like, unironically just enjoy from, maybe not from beginning to end. <laughs> but I'm putting too many qualifiers here, but I've been searching for the one Twilight clone that I will actually just unironically enjoy, and even if I have criticisms of it, overall, I'll still say I liked it. And if you're curious, here I have the Halo Trilogy, um, which this one's actually a little bit different in that it's a supernatural girl who runs into a teenage boy, so I don't know, that might be something. And then I have the Angel Fire Trilogy, which might have actual action and stuff, I don't know. And many of you were hoping I'd get to Hush Hush eventually. They're, they're here. Uh, and then there is Unearthly, which is... Actually, I think this one is also a supernatural girl running into a teenage boy, so... You know, there's some variety at the very least. You know, because the only, uh, Twilight clone I found in the past that really deviated from the formula in that way was uh, Beautiful Creatures, and even then, the book still wasn't very good. The, the movie's good. I did genuinely enjoy the movie. Like, not, not even ironically or anything, it's a genuinely good movie, but the book's... The book's boring. But anyways, these were not all of the angel ones I could find, keep in mind. Like, there, I was just clicking through Goodreads a couple of weeks ago before I ordered all these, and I found more. <laughs> I found... There are so many of these, and I think... I'm not gonna try reading all of these before I do my uh, Twilight Clones video, just 
so we're aware. Uh, there's no way I could, and even if I was, I would have to set aside basically everything else I'm working on in order to do that. Like, I'm only a little over a third of the way through Battlefield Earth right now, and, you know, I should be, ideally I'll be finished with that one in, like, two more weeks, but I, I don't know, and then it'll be a little while before a video comes out. But anyways, uh, all of these, I can't read them that quickly. I, I will probably go through them a little bit just as, as research for that video, but all of these I will get to eventually, just because I really want to find out what made angels specifically so, um, well, maybe not successful, but why did so many authors all around the same time all decide, you know what, let's, let's do angels. You know, we don't want to just copy Twilight wholesale and use vampires, so angels. Like, I don't know why they all settled on that around the same time. Because it, it's not like all of these were ripoffs of any one uh, starter. Like, uh, Fallen and Hush Hush came out, I think, two months apart from one another. So they just, they just all came out around this time, and I find it endlessly fascinating because not, not only the books themselves, but also the patterns in uh, what people enjoy, what people buy, what people want to read and want to watch, that's also really interesting because I think you can tell a lot about a society by the type of art they produce, and not only that, but the type, uh, the way that they respond to the art that's uh, being produced. Like, do is it popular? Is it unpopular? Is it viewed as countercultural? Is it viewed as more of the same? Uh, did it like anger a lot of people for some reason? Were there religious fundamentalists or whoever who tried to call for it to be banned? You know that sort of thing, and you know you can tell a lot about a group of people by that. And so, uh, as someone who wasn't really in the target audience for these, even ten years ago when I read some of them, or at least parts of some of them, like. If you remember back in my uh, Elixir review, which was Hilary Duff's book series, it's, it's it's awful, by the way, but I mentioned that one. I did read a lot of uh, Twilight clones, or at least the beginnings of them, uh, because I would just go into Barnes & Noble and read like 50 pages and then get bored. But the thing is, I'm still not a... Uh, I still wasn't in the target audience, but I was searching because it wasn't like I came into these going, okay, this is gonna suck. I came into it thinking, okay, I want a cute romance. Let's see what this can give me. And I, I still haven't found them. But the thing is, I did uh, get some experience with this, uh, I don't know, movement, this subculture, whatever you, wanna, whatever you wanna call it. But I wasn't really immersed in it. You know, I wasn't someone who read the books multiple times and then went on forums to discuss them and then wrote fan fiction about it or anything like that. Because someone like that would be like really immersed in the culture. So I think by reading these I can get a little bit more insight into that movement and into, you know, the business world around it and just in writing in general, art in general, society in general, you know, all that sort of stuff. So, and hell, if all that fails, I can still laugh at some of the stupidity in here. And so, uh, I don't know if there's really a point beyond that. I kind of just wanted to show off that, yes, I did indeed buy all of this shit. And I am eventually going to get through all of it and read all of it. Because I just genuinely like doing that. You know, people tell me in my comment section, like, James, you shouldn't torture yourself like this. I'm, I'm really not torturing myself. You know, there's parts where, there, or there's times where reading through something it makes me kind of miserable because there's parts where like it's just really boring, like Fallen in particular has long stretches where it's really boring and I just really wanted it to get moving, but there's usually dumb stuff I can laugh at or something interesting where I can go, oh, I kind of like that. So it's, it's really not torturous. It's just, um, so it, it's something I like doing. I like analyzing stuff like that. So, um, yeah, if you ever worried about me, really, you really don't need to be and just, I don't know, look forward to me getting to these at some point in the future. <laughs> Bye.